What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back, checking out the video. Well, got a 2003, yeah, 2003 Honda Accord. You know, it's got the K24 in it. Pretty cool. Uh, been wanting to get one of these on the channel for a little while. And uh, this is the first one, so pretty uh, pretty happy with that. But yeah, as you can see, it's got a bunch of oil leaks. Just looking at it, it's got some oil leaks, man. Got the, uh, from what it looks like, the valve cover leaking. Power steering, a uh, little O-ring that's in there is leaking. And of course, the VTUX solenoid that's back there is leaking its brains out. So I got some spark plugs for it because it kind of needs a tune-up. A little bit of Honda Bond, uh, valve cover gasket, a little O-ring gasket for the power steering, and the VTUX solenoid right here. Um, this is some off-brand, I don't know what it is, something on Amazon, Dorman, Velpro, Honda Bond, and NGKs, you know? But we're going to start with uh, the valve cover, these covers here, just a bunch of tins, and uh, get this power steering hose out of the way. I'm going to do this last because it's going to spill all over the place, even though it'll make my life a little bit easier getting rid of this hose now. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to unbolt it here, move it off to the side. But anyways, first step, get rid of, get rid of. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, the plugs out of it and uh, start working on this valve cover, get it out of the way, and then we'll go after the VTUX solenoid, okay? And uh, replace the gasket on that guy, check out the valves, and then put the gasket back and do this guy last, and then clean this whole bunch of junk up because it is just super duper dirty. And again, yeah, I really appreciate you guys coming. Check out this video. I'm going to try to make it where there's not a whole lot of bull crap in it. And uh, if you could, hit the thumbs up button for me if you liked the video. All right, so it's always easier just to loosen this up first before you try to unplug these coils. And when these guys get kind of all these little clips like to break off, so just be aware of that. They break off, just kind of have to zip time on. No big deal. Things get brittle and old when they get old. All right, get that out of the way. All right, so um, got to talk about these little retainers here. Um, there are actually little pieces of rubber underneath these caps. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull these off now, okay? And there's a couple in the back um, because when you go to take the valve cover off, they're going to pop off and shoot off, and they're going to go somewhere. They're going to be hard to find. So just get a little flathead screwdriver and pop these guys off and go put every, all those little bolts on the stone kind of underneath here because I don't want nothing small to fall in the engine like that. I mean, spark plugs and some coils. If those go missing, I can find those later. But... And then we'll come over here and we'll just pry the valve cover right off. As you can see, there's a little bit of oil. You can see a little bit right there. But uh, these guys didn't come out um, oil or anything like that. That's good. That means the tubes aren't leaking. There we go, man. She's pretty clean for 100, uh, 130 something thousand miles. Oh yeah. But now we can definitely see that VTUX only a little bit better, easier to get to. Just gotta be careful not to get anything in this engine. Let's take a look at the valve cover. The valve cover's in good shape too. I don't like to replace these seals because they're kind of a pain in the rear. The new kit does come with them. I don't know if I'm gonna replace them yet. I'm gonna like, you know, um, if they're hard, which, they're hard. I got to replace these things. Oh man, they're super hard. All right. You're going to have to replace these guys. But anyways, you got to pound them out from the back and pound the new ones in without breaking them or without ripping them. It can be kind of difficult. But anyways, go ahead and get this VTUX on it off. It's just some 10 millimeters. Going to go ahead and unplug it, pull it right off, clean all this up and then replace it. Boom. Having these swivel quarter inch ratchets like this, this really, really makes things a lot easier. As far as getting back here into weird spots and breaking bolts loose and stuff. I said it allows you just to put all kinds of crazy different angles on the handle. You can just bust things loose. This makes it a lot simpler. Yeah. Anyways, so these tubes are not leaking, okay? They're not leaking oil. These tubes can actually leak oil. 
and uh, they're just threaded into the head. When they get a little loose, they'll leak oil, and you'll see it on the spark plugs when they're doing that. But these are all good, so you don't have to really worry about that. <clears throat> all right, just come right off, and there we go. V tuck solenoid. The gasket is stuck back here. I'm just going to pull this guy off. Oh, there we go. All right, it has a little filter on it. Goes right in there like that. And then we'll just spray clean this off and clean the surface up. I'm going to clean the motor up anyway. All this thing, everything's getting degreased anyway. All right. So if this guy was leaking here, it comes with a new seal. You can replace that also. Here's the new one. Here's the pressure sensor seal right there. And there's a little seal right there. little snug yeah. Yeah. snug these guys up let's, let's ratchet just do it a little you just gonna do it hand tight okay it feels good let me just plug these guys back in make sure the weather packs are still in there not bad it's still kind of rubbery oh, a lot of the Toyota ones man they come out like Plastic, like super hard. All right, so to get these guys out, what we have to do is we pretty much have to flip the valve cover over and bang them out from this side. Things are a pain in the butt, only half of it comes out. You gotta get the other half out without destroying the valve cover. It's a pain in the butt. All right, so a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of silicone paste. The It's safe for these type of seals. And we can just push, we can just push these guys in. They go a certain way, okay? Like this way. Push them in. Whoops. Whoops. Just push them in there. Oh, I gotta push them in straight, man. And that's good enough. Okay, just try to get it down there as deep as you can. You don't really want to use any tools on that. Unless you got some plastic tools like I have here. You can kind of tap on the edges a little bit to get it to go down. But anything else, it's gonna tear these guys up. Okay? And what this is, this is actually a PDR tool, okay? Kind of meant to hammer on delicate things like painted surfaces so it won't tear things up. All right, all good to go. So you use Honda Bond on a Honda because that's just what you do. And you put it where that old RTV was at right here for the timing cover and the head meets. Same thing over here. I'm gonna put it over here in these cracks over here. Back there and back there somewhere. So I don't know what the deal is with Honda and their power steering connections always after pumps leak. They always have this orange o-ring fix. 
that I don't really even remember what the deal is with the orange one and what the orange one actually does. <laughs> but it fixes it. Let's get a little rag going over here because it's going to just go everywhere. Okay. So the orange one goes on the return. Black one is on the pressure hose. But on the older cars, you'd start getting a whining power steering pump because of this guy right here, because of the orange one. New valve covers. I went ahead and I power washed the whole uh, engine, get all that oil off. It's pretty grody looking. Well, alright guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you liked it, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment box below. You guys take care, be safe. Have a great weekend. Later, guys.